Are we prepared for video-to-video -video transformations and stable diffusion? Well, there's no need for worry or stress. This video offers the solution for a fresh approach to styling your videos. Utilizing the Animate Diff extension, ControlNet, LinearArt, and the IP adapter models, we can effortlessly enhance the style of our videos. So to start things off, let's delve into the key requirements. Requirement 1 involves the installation of the Animate Diff extension and the LCM LoRas. If you haven't set up these essential components yet, we provide a dedicated article and video guiding you through the installation process. You can find the links in the description. Requirement 2 entails the installation of ControlNet. We assume that you may have already installed this, but if not, we offer step-by-step -step guidance through a written tutorial and a video tutorial for visual learners. You can find the relevant links in the description. The third criterion is to obtain the Linear Control Net model. If you haven't acquired it yet, you'll find the link to the official Hugging Face website in the description. Once there, you can download the Linear Safe Tensor file and position it within the designated folder for your Stable Diffusion Control Net extension models. The fourth requirement is the IP Adapter Control Net model. This model enables us to furnish Control Net with a reference image for style, texture, structure, or even clothing appearance in our video-to-video -video transformation. To proceed, let's head over to the official Hugging Face website. For this tutorial, we'll be utilizing the IP adapter model labeled as IP adapter plus sd15.safetensors file. Download this model and insert it into the designated folder for Stable Diffusion Control Net extension models. Make sure you possess an available initial video for the transformative process utilizing the innovative methods supported by Animate Diff and LCM LoRa, in addition to the designated control net models. Let's now move forward to accomplish some extraordinary video-to-video -video transformations. Access Stable Diffusion and go to the Text to Image sub-tab. Scroll to find the control net settings drop-down menu. Begin the process by selecting the first control net unit, Unit 0. Do not upload an image into the Single Image sub-tab. Next, enable Control Net and choose Pixel Perfect. For the control type, opt for Linear. And for the preprocessor, select Linear Realistic. Choose the previously downloaded Linear model for the model setting and set the control weight to 0.65. Leave the remaining settings in their default state. Now let's proceed to the second set of Control Net configurations. Initially, furnish a reference image to the canvas within Control Net Unit 1. This image may symbolize a color theme, style, or even clothing. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll enhance the video by incorporating a color theme pattern and elevating its textures. Enable Control Net and opt for Pixel Perfect. Choose IP Adapter as the control type and select the previously downloaded model named IP Adapter plus SD15 for the model setting the preprocessor can remain in its default state. Then, set the control weight to 1. It's noteworthy that a higher control weight leads to a more distinct representation of the reference image in the eventual output video. You have the flexibility to adjust the control weight according to your preference, although we have found that a control weight of 1 strikes the right balance. Let's progress by accessing the Settings drop-down menu in the Animate Diff extension and making the necessary adjustments. Select the motion module identified as MMSDV15V2.CKPT. Set the save format to MP4. Feel free to choose an alternative format like GIF or WeBM if desired. Activate the Animate Diff extension. Within the Video Source sub tab, upload the initial video you intend to transform and maintain the remaining settings in their default state. Note that the total number of frames and frames per second FPS, will be automatically configured upon adding the initial video. Scroll up and select your checkpoint. Whether you lean towards a realistic or cartoonish style, the choice is completely yours. In this tutorial, we're opting for a sophisticated touch of realism, but feel free to unleash your creativity and experiment with various checkpoint styles. To speed up rendering, we've integrated LCM LoRa. Instead of introducing extra keywords to our positive prompt, we utilize image prompting with our reference image in ControlNet, in conjunction with the IP adapter model. Of course, you have the option to incorporate additional keywords for more specific outcomes in the final video, but that's entirely at your discretion. If you're looking for more information about the use of IP adapters and image prompting, 
Be sure to explore our in-depth written tutorial on this topic. We'll provide the link in the description. In conjunction with LCM LoRa in the positive prompt, generate your negative prompt and opt for the LCM sampling method. Set the sampling steps to 8 for optimal results. Maintain the width and height at the same aspect ratio as our initial video, which in our case is a 9 by 16 ratio. Choose a CGF scale of 2 and set the seed to minus 1. After configuring the parameters for your video masterpiece, click Generate and witness LCM LoRa work its magic for rapid video creation. When the curtain falls, discover your masterpiece in the following file path. Stable Diffusion Web UI, Outputs, Text to Image Images, Animate Diff, along with the exact date of video creation. Let's examine some noteworthy examples, keeping in mind that our video transformations stayed faithful to simplicity without utilizing the hires fix upscaling method. These examples are crafted using a color pattern reference image within ControlNet IP adapter. We trust that you find this video informative and are excited to experiment with video to video transformations using various reference images and checkpoints on your own. That concludes it for now. Take care and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.